You're welcome to this daily devotional. I promised during the last week's message that I am going to start a daily devotional for the main time. And I encourage you to follow this devotional, subscribe. It's going to be on a daily basis. Let us pray. Oh Lord, we pray that you speak your word to us as we read your word and also look into your word. We pray that you will bless our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. The word of God is a light to our feet and a lamp to our path. So the word of God is very important. It is good we study God's word on a daily basis. This devotional is going to be uh, on a daily basis and it's going to be as brief as possible as the Holy Spirit leads us. Today we're talking about a new beginning. Luke chapter 15, 17 to 22. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's, of my father's have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion, and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto his father, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and I am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said unto his servants, Bring forth the best robe, and put it on him, and put a ring on his head, and shoes on his feet. Praise God. We're talking about a new beginning. A lot of times people don't want a new beginning when they start doing something because they have conviction and because they believe that people are going to fault them and tell them oh you were wrong because they don't want to be proved wrong because they don't want to start all over again they don't want to begin again but the truth is that there is no time to start all over again that is too late. Any moment you realize that you are on the wrong path, please go back to the drawing board and start all over again. This is a young man that was fully convinced in his heart that if he starts on his own, he will do better. Probably more than his father and more than his other brother that was still in his father's house. So he set out. But when he saw that things were not going the way he planned them, as a matter of fact, he went from the top to the bottom. He saw himself not being able to feed himself anymore. He told himself, no, I have to start all over again. So what? how do I start? He went to his father and he told his father, look, I'm not worthy to be your son. As a matter of fact, I left here as a prince with all your goods. Now I'm coming back less than a slave. Could you please accept me as one of your hired servants? This is a young man who used to live as a prince. His father had many servants and they used to eat food and had a lot to spare. But it came to a time that because of his wrong decisions, he couldn't even feed himself. He saw that it is better for him to be a servant in his father's house, in his own biological father's house, than to be on his own, to be his own boss. Because he discovered that he had no enough managerial ability. How many of us are on the wrong path and we have the mindset of starting all over again 
then because of what people are going to say, because of people's opinions, because people are going to question us, because we feel we owe some people explanation, we don't want to start all over again. But is it wrong to start all over again? It is not wrong. Anytime you see yourself that you are on the wrong path and you need to go to the drawing board and start all over again, start a new beginning, I tell you the truth, once you are convinced, you've read about it, start all over again. There is nothing wrong with starting all over again. Do not despise a small beginning. Some of us don't actually want to make attempt at all because of the fact that there are risks out there. But even in the midst of risk, you should take your steps even in the midst of the risk. Look at this young man. The risk was high. Okay, look at the situation. What if I go to my father and he says, I don't want to accept you back. Imagine the level of shame this young man will face. What about his brother that he has offended? What about the slaves? He, he used to give comments to them. Now he is equating himself, categorizing himself with his father's servants. Imagine you who used to be the boss now becoming one of the hired servants and not even the chief servant. He would come and be taking orders from the servants that had been on ground. He did not consider the risk. Please, when you are prompted to start all over again or have a new beginning, do not hesitate to do so. There are blessings if you leave the wrong path to the right path. Remember, there is a way that cement right unto a man, but the way, but the end thereof are the ways of death. If you see yourself that the end of the path you are is not going to lead you to everlasting life, it's not going to lead you to a place of success, please go back to the drawing board and start all over again. Let us pray. Lord, as we begin this day, we ask that you help us to make good decisions. Help us to follow your path. Help us to do your will. Do not leave us alone. Lord, we pray that you lead your children in the path of righteousness. Cause your people to experience your goodness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please share this video and also subscribe to this channel, The Narrow is Christ for Nations. We have a WhatsApp group. You can join our WhatsApp group. I'll be dropping the MP3, the audio on the WhatsApp group. Follow us on all our platforms. God bless you. Bye-bye.